I'm sure you're familiar with Legos. Remember those? In essence, this is how design systems work. It's a collection of building blocks that are repeated within the interface and they share some basic properties like color, fonts, grids, icons and so on. The idea is to break down your user interface into modular blocks that can be easily shared or changed and used in front-end project. Every decent screen design tool nowadays has a way to create a component out of something that can be reused later. But I have to say, Figma pushed this idea to the next level, it's incredibly easy. If your team is ready, you can even start using View Design System or Storybook. That way you could decouple the user interface from backend and frontend logic and focus on your design. Later, developers can easily connect the main project with the design system project and you have a nice and safe way of updating whatever you need and it's reflected within your product. It can actually be a really streamlined process. And to answer the question from the title, it's simple. I started building a design system in Figma with two or three files. One is dedicated to icon components, uh, the other for color styles. And if you already know your typography, then the third can be for text styles. In Figma, you can publish these libraries and then anybody can access them from any file. You can even control what library is visible where. That makes working in a team a breeze. Depending on the project, I might have one file with the main design, but if it's a bigger project, I would split the UI into many files in some logical way, probably just following navigation or features. And to wrap this up, design systems are a big topic. Every team does it differently, there are some good practices, but in the end it boils down to whatever makes your team fast and productive. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you want to share something about design systems, write me in comments. And until next time, bye bye!